All right, now we're going to use the eye model to simulate a retinal implant. So we're looking at a graphic here of the eye model and also a corrective lens in front of it because if we put an implant in the eye, let me zoom in on it, you can see the retinal implant and let me hide the sclera in the retina. You can see that it sits inside there and has some thickness to it. So that's why we need to have a correction in front of the eye. So let's go ahead and use AHAM to set this up. I've got my bionic retina settings. All right, so here's my first splash screen. And I've got a basic setup similar to the default model. However, when I get down to the bottom, I have an option to insert system. And a bionic retina is a system. But now it asks me, is a system a retinal implant? In this case, it is, so I have that checked. I increased my fastening a bit so I could see the curvature a little better. And I click OK. And here's my AZ lens settings. So I have geometry for the eye set up for the AZ model. Click OK. And here are some inf information that's asked for, uh, particular to the inserted system. So here I've got a file name for a bionic retina. So I've, I can create that file either in ASAP or in some CAD application. Then I can bring it in to my system. So I can scale it in X and Y. I can stretch it in Z. Um, I can move the vertex on the Z axis of the anterior surface. I can shift in X and Y and I can rotate it. Click OK. And from what I was describing before, we need to correct for the eye because we put a surface on the retina which moves that image uh, to a different location. So I put 2.75 diopters to correct that. And I used optimization to find that number. So I insert some sphere. So I'm going to put power on the eye from the corrective lens. Click OK. And it begins to run its trace. We see the geometry drawn. There's my correcting lens. And I get a point spread function that's nice and tight. It looks much like the default model's point spread function and also cross-section data. So there's my point spread function. And let's look at our geometry again here. So we've got a bionic retina inside the eye, and we're imaging on top of it. 